Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg and this is The Outdoor Report. Thanks for tuning in. Labor Day marks the unofficial end of summer. And for lots of families here in the upper Midwest, they're gonna spend this weekend at the cabin or at the shack. It might be one last fling before fall or maybe prepping for the hunting season. So in today's episode, we're gonna show you some shacks and tell you the stories that go with them. We'll start just south of Little Falls, Minnesota and take you to deer camp at the Quackenrack. Then we'll visit a traditional old school log cabin near the St. Croix River and tour a place where time stands still. And we'll talk about shacks on the ice, all that plus a builder's tip and a savory goodness segment coming right up here on the Outdoor Report. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Firebrand Fish Houses, the hottest brand on the ice, Northview Bank. You find it, we'll finance it. Little Falls Tourism, where the Mississippi pauses, discovery begins. Smoothie's Sunflower Oil and Chef Robert's Gourmet Breading Mix. Brainerd International Raceway, Lakes Jam, Power Lodge, Ranger Boats, and Evanrude. TriCityLiving.org, Yamaha Generators, Revs Your Heart, Weiss Realty, Catch Cover, Hunt Onyx, and JT Custom Rods. If you spend any time deer hunting, you know it can be just as much about the tradition as it is about the deer. Well, we're here at a very unique shack in central Minnesota called the Quackenrack, a place with plenty of deer and plenty of tradition. The festivities usually begin Friday night. We got some goose wrapped in bacon with Italian seasoning. There's plenty of food, family, and friends. My memories go way back when I was just a, a little guy in. The shack was, uh, it's my grandfather's, grandparents' farm. The one by one, I'd have uh, some of my brother-in-laws and friends and, and uh, guys come up here and we'd hunt. Uh, I came with my father and uh, Ron. There was a small group, maybe half a dozen of us, and it's grown from there. As things progressed and we got a few more guys, we fixed up the, the greenery and made that as our uh, hunting shack. So it's just progressed from there on. That's what he said? Yeah. <laughs> Stories of years past are shared around the dinner table as well as around a campfire. <laughs> the smiles come easy and last a little longer at the shack. Finally, it's time to hunt. After a hearty helping of cheesy eggs, it's time to head out to the stand and watch the woods wake up. started coming up here in high school and that would have been in 1988. Been offered to hunt in northern Minnesota, been offered to hunt in uh, different parts of the state but it's always the quack and wreck, it's, uh, the annual hunting so. And just like all those other years, the quack and rack doesn't disappoint. It's been some great land and uh, thanks to the Kusterman family for uh, really having this with all of us guys for all these years. I mean, uh, we're 45 minutes from deer hunting from St. Cloud to up here by Royalton and they've got uh, some really beautiful acreage here uh, right along the Mississippi River, the creek running through it. So us guys are very lucky. I have nothing against shooting them myself, but uh, I am happy when we get some nice deer and everybody's happy and uh, we have a good time, so. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, a, it's a, a lot of fun and couldn't do it without these guys either. 
just being up here with friends. That's, that's, that's probably one of the most important parts, doing stuff with friends. So if you've never hunted before, don't knock it till you've tried it. It's more than just harvesting animals. It's a heritage that takes us to our home away from home. Coming up after the break, we've got more shacks to show you and we'll tell you how to turn that nature walk into a meal. So stay tuned. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Firebrand Fish Houses and Northview Bank. Fish houses aren't just for ice fishing anymore. There's a reason to own one year round. Firebrand features a durable lightweight aluminum frame and all the comforts of home. Whether you're camping, hunting, or ice fishing, Firebrand has a model to fit the entire family. Firebrand, the hottest brand on the ice. Thanks for bringing us to your cabin. It's so beautiful and what a cute dog. Yeah, I love this place. <laughs> We better get out of here. Hey, what are you doing on my property? What's with the neighbor's dog? Need your own vacation property? You find it, we'll finance it. Northview Bank, northviewbank.com. In the heart of Minnesota exists a place overflowing with discovery. Whether you're biking the trails, wetting a line, or just soaking it all in, Little Falls is the perfect getaway. Tradition abounds in historic downtown and at the Minnesota Fishing Museum. Little Falls, where the Mississippi pauses, discovery begins. But it can buy me a boat. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Little Falls Tourism, Lakes Jam, and Brainerd International Raceway. This was the main cabin that, that we'd built that finished in 1975, and that was out of Tamarack Logs. Dennis Volden built this place with his own two hands. A good day I would get one row of logs around, four logs up. Then one weekend I had a couple of buddies come along and we got actually eight logs up. To call it a labor of love would be an understatement. And we would pack it with jute packing or oakum is what we packed to seal up the crack in it. We peeled the logs in the spring of uh, 74 and started in the fall of 74 and it took me uh, to the fall of 75 and September was the first night we stayed in the cabin. There's no electricity and no plumbing. No modern plumbing anyway, and that's just how they want it. We decided that we wanted a place different from other world for the kids. No TV, no radio or anything. And uh, it worked. They came out here and they never complained because there wasn't a TV. They played in the woods and it was wonderful. This is the master suite, and you notice right over here, the shower. We fill up this, fill up this water can and turn the spigot on and we can take a shower out here in the cabin. The modern convenience of a shack. As for the cooking, state of the art by 1920s standards. The wood cook stove was my father and mother-in-law's stove, that the first stove they had when they were married in 1929. My challenge is to cook on my mother's wood cook stove and see if I can get something through without burning it. <laughs> like many shacks, this is more than just a place to escape. It's a place to gather, a place to create memories and relive old ones. This book 
documents every deer that's been harvested at the shack, and it dates back to 1972. And each year we have the, the year and the who shot it and where it was shot and, and the number of points. And as you can see, we've shot quite a few deer out on this uh, area. Oh, it's just, it's constant stories. Remember this, remember that. And they look at the one head in there and then, and then tell us the story about that, Grandpa, and tell us the story about that. Remember when we got this buck down here in the swamp there? And remember when I made that drive to you over here and you got that deer? And The deer may come and go, but for Dennis, his fondest memories are the human bonds created at the shack. I guess the best memory of uh, the deer hunting is to have my family and our friends and, and we go out and hunt and uh, we come in and we have a good meal and we play cribbage in the evening and um, it's, just, it's just a great place to go. And the plus is if we shoot a buck. At home there's all these interruptions and out here you just enjoy each other and the place and the woods and the, you know, it's kind of like time stops a little more out here than it does at home. As their family grew and the shack became more popular, the Voldens built additions to the main building, but that wasn't enough. Here we have the bunkhouse. We built that in uh, 85, I believe. And the reason I built this, built the bunkhouse was over in the cabin when the kids got older, they left their pop cans half full and they left their stuff all over the place and I said, that's it. I'm gonna build a bunkhouse and anybody that's under 18 years of age sleeps out here. When you don't have any modern amenities, you've gotta use some ingenuity and the Voldens have thought of everything. This is the outhouse uh, used by one and all. Here's the secret to a good outhouse. If you poop, you scoop. And what I mean by that is we have mule train uh, borax. borax that if you dump that down in the toilet, that kind of eliminates the, uh, the smell and odor of the outhouse. Gotcha. It works very well. The smaller, the smaller wood like this goes into the kitchen stove. So for, for the cooking, because it's just a small container in there, where here are the, the bigger chunks of, of wood that last longer through the night than are, go into the heater stove. It's a lot of work, but it makes us appreciate, you know, that every time I cook on the stove, I think of my mother. She did that every day. I'm doing it for fun, you know, and uh, everything we do out here, we kind of do the way they did it. And it's a lot of work, but it's, it's good, feel, feel good work, you know. You go, you sleep, you work hard, and you sleep good at night. You're not thinking about what uh, you should have done yesterday or are going to do tomorrow. It's just... Uh, uh, a good place to relax and have fun. Who would have figured that a place so simple could have such a profound effect? Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg with the Outdoor Report and our friends at Northview Bank are having a super cool contest called Show Us Your Shack. All you need to do is visit their website, northviewbank.com, submit your photo of your shack and tell them the story behind it. So. Make sure you check out the website, upload your photo. You could win $1,000, $500, or a great outdoor hunting package. Best of luck. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Northview Bank and JT Custom Rods. This land is beautiful. I'm sure it's great for hunting. Yep, there's a few really nice bucks around here. This would be a nice place to build a house. Oh, I just come out here to hunt and get away from it all. Hey! You're on my property, can't you see the sign? Run! What? I thought this was your land. Need your own land? You find it, we'll finance it. Northview Bank, northviewbank.com. Are you looking to up your game? Then get your hands on the new JTX mag from JT Custom Rods. A cutting edge carbon fiber blank and nickel titanium alloy guides give you the edge. It's the most sensitive and responsive rod money can buy. Go to JTODP.com, enter the Outdoor Report promo code and get 5% off your entire order. 
JT Custom Rods, redefining fishing. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best-in-class torque of the Evan Rudy E-Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. The G2 is awesome. I've heard a lot of guys tell me stories about missed opportunities. Give them confidence to know exactly where public and private property boundaries are and know exactly where they're allowed to hunt. I don't think it's worth going without a map like this. If you miss an opportunity like that, it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Hunt smarter with the new era of GPS. Weiss Realty will find the perfect property for you. The entire Weiss team of agents brings expert knowledge from every aspect of the outdoors and specializes in hunting land in rural properties. Whether it's hunting, fishing, farming, logging, or construction, we have the answers to your questions. Buying or selling, hunting or farmland? Contact a land specialist from the Weiss team today. Weiss Realty, we cover a lot of ground. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Power Lodge, Ranger Boats, and Evan Rood. A walk in the woods is a great activity when you're at the shack. And if you keep your eyes open, it can be productive as well. Lobster! Lobsters! Lots Over. of them. Mushroom hunting isn't just for springtime. Late summer and fall can offer a bounty of tasty morsels if you know what to look for. That'll be a keeper. Pat Parker is relatively new to picking mushrooms. He did his research, read a few books, and was real careful when he started foraging for fungus. I like being outside. Worked outside all my life and uh, retired now, and I just like being out in the woods. Cut it off at the stem, right at the ground. That day we were looking for chanterelles, lobsters, and chicken of the woods. Sometimes if you just see a little pile of leaves sticking up that look funny, brush the leaves away because you might find a mushroom underneath them. As far as where to start looking, Pat is a fan of oak trees. Jackpot! Because you get a variety of mushrooms on it, like your chickens generally grow uh, on an old stump or on a tree that's dead, you know, mostly red oak. These are nice. The chanterelles that we picked today, they like the oaks also. Even if it's the right kind, not all mushrooms are suitable for eating. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's take cut the bottom, see if any worms got, whoop, look at here though. See the big worm holes? And you go like that, bad. When you squeeze them, they're supposed to be hard like a potato. That's not hard like a potato, is it? Not how I like potato. No, that one's rotten too. They smell good. Yeah. That day we had plenty to choose from, and we were able to find the right ones. This one I think is going to be a good one, Lily. See, and it's white down here, and that's really super hard. Yep, look at how nice and white that is. That's a beautiful that's one. Not only is mushroom hunting a great way to harvest healthy food, it's another way to spend quality time with the kids. They're real active anyway, so I'm not saying I'm getting them out of the house or anything, but uh, it's just fun being around them and they, they get quite a kick out of it. Go carry. King of the forest! So if you're at the shack and looking for something to do, maybe give mushroom hunting a try. And you might even run into some savory goodness. It's time now for some savory goodness. Brought to you by Smoothie's Oil and Chef Robert's Breading. So how do you cook mushrooms? Well, to find out, we turn to our resident mushroom expert, Matthew Brewer of North Country Guide Service and Promotions. Matt, if you were gonna cook chicken of the woods, how would you do it? Well, you don't have to get fancy like a lot of restaurants or uh, expensive eateries. You can simply bread them, fry them, 
and do them just like you do your fish and kids love them that way and they're delicious. Simply take a fillet knife or any cutting knife. Um, I'm gonna chop it into chunks about the size of a small chicken strip or a large french fry. It's not overloaded with taste. Um, so frying it is a good option because you can add a little salt and then wash it off. Simply you throw it in some breading, get it coated nicely, drop it in the oil, and you got tasty little treats. The main draw for Chicken of the Woods is actually the texture because it has the same texture as chicken. Still to come, we'll head to the lake and show you some shacks on ice, so don't go anywhere. There's plenty of Outdoor Report coming right up. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Yamaha Generators and Ottertail Lakes Country. One outdoor power that's super lightweight and ultra quiet with world-class dependability and quality? Then you should check out the new Yamaha EF2000 ISV2. The I stands for inverter, which means it puts out the cleanest power you can get to safely operate today's sensitive electronics. The V2 means it's a whole new generation. Hey everyone, it's me, the Inner Otter. Everybody knows Ottertail County, Minnesota is a great place to stay, play, and dine. But did you know there are a lot of great opportunities to live and work here too? Here's an Otter one just for you. Live in the heart of Ottertail County, Minnesota. The cities of Battle Lake, Ottertail, and Henning offer you quality of life, affordable housing, and jobs. For more information or to find your inner otter, visit ottertaillakescountry.com. Millions of men and women have served in the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and the Coast Guard. Many were wounded in battle. Many died to make us free. The least we can do is to remember them. Please go to BethArt.org today and donate any amount to help finish this unique art monument. It's located in the committal hall at Minnesota's First State Veterans Cemetery. Thank you. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Weiss Realty and Hunt Onyx. Not all shacks are found in the woods. Come winter, small villages appear on many lakes here in the upper Midwest. A virtual community on wheels. If you're not into roughing it, you're in luck. Fish houses have come a long way lately. Whether it's remote control electric lift systems, or portable satellite TV to help pass the time when the fishing gets slow. I would say try to, you know, make it as fun and comfortable for everybody. So it's more of a, I want to go next time versus, come on, dad, I don't want to come with this time. It was too cold. More and more ice fishing is becoming family friendly. It's another great way to get the kids to go outside and play. Um, yeah, it's more, you know, for the getting the kids out and doing it and, you know, just keeping them doing different things and just having the amenities are nice, the stove to cook and that kind of stuff. It definitely makes the trip more pleasing for me. <laughs> you know, bring some other stuff for when the fishing gets slow. Um, you know, my kids love to watch a movie here and there or, you know, we'll run around on the four-wheeler for a little bit. It's uh, definitely a different ball game when you have a, a nice firebrand fish house to, to you know warm up in and um, kick back. For me it makes it otherwise I probably really wouldn't like to go. You know it's just nice to get out of the house do something different. They do like the fish and you know we have you can go outside and play in the snow and if they get bored at least there's like I said a TV and you know they can just kind of sit and hang out. 
We'll be running a Firebrand Fish House this year, and here's a closer look at what we are calling the Norseman Edition. Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg with the Outdoor Report and we're here with Firebrand. This is the Norseman and we're gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. And again, the main purpose of this particular model is function over form. I wanted a fish house that was kind of a blood and guts model that was wide open, lots of floor space. Think of it as the tiller of the fish house world. Not really any benches, not really any beds on the floor anyways. A couple things that we did is number one, rubber floors are awesome but they come in eight foot strips. So I asked the guys to, instead of cut that off, run it up the wall and that way we'd have a nice vapor barrier there so no moisture got back in any of the, into any of the frame or any of the wood. The other thing that I asked for, and this is where it gets a little bit crazy, is corrugated tin. So when I'm in the fish house, there's fish coming through the hole, I got gas tank cans banging around or augers or whatever it is. I didn't want my pretty cedar getting all scuffed up and marked up. So we came up with the idea and the folks at Firebrand were kind enough to run with this. We're putting corrugated tin from the floor up to the middle of the, uh, of the wall. Then what we're gonna do is again, I'm looking for function. I need a trailer that I can load all of my film gear, hunting gear, camping gear, fishing gear. We got a uh, ramp door and we're good to go. So once again, this is the Norseman available exclusively from our friends at Firebrand. And if you wanna check one of these things out, give them a call, check out their website, and make sure to let them know the Outdoor Report sent you. So what did we learn? What's the moral of the story? Well, I believe we're all hunting for something, whether it's deer or duck or geese or mushrooms, or maybe it's our happy place. Now, if you haven't found your happy place yet, you might wanna take a look in the woods or on the water, because it just might be there. If you have found your happy place, make sure to make time to be there as much as possible. Because after all, it's not about having time, it's about making time. I'm Eric Osberg with your Outdoor Report.